Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. This week um, you're going to get some old chestnuts. I found this book in the Oxfam bookshop and I thought, yeah, it's full of those um, lovely old poems. Some of us, if we have the right age, learnt some of these off by heart when we were at school. Uh, some of us prob probably had them read to us by other people like parents and what have you. And uh, I just thought I would share some with you, partly because I like reading them and I hope you like listening to them. The first poem um, I've picked is in almost every anthology of lovely old poems because it's a really good poem. It suffers in the 21st century by its last line, which sounds terribly exclusive. And what's more, you'll be a man, my son. But it's not really about being a man, a male person. It's about being a well-rounded human being. So uh, whether you're a man, a woman, a uh, binary or anything else, this is just good advice. And this poem is called If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thought your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the thing you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about the loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with sixty seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Perhaps the saddest thing about this poem is that Rudyard Kipling only had one son and he died in the First World War. If you enjoyed that, there are more poems to come and you can find other poems read by me on uh, Brandy, Brandy's Poetry Corner on YouTube. Thank you.